today we are going to discuss about for each control structure in business center before we proceed i like to tell you that this is my youtube channel where you can find a uh, three important playlist for business central so one is the interview questions where i will be uploading the interview questions for technical consultant as well as the functional consultant i have already uploaded eight videos for this and next one is the mini project ideas for the business central so if you wanted to get more knowledge and experience in the business central you can start with the mini project ideas the next one is the business central learning path that is a complete microsoft Dynamics Dynamics 365 Business Central AI Programming Tutorial where you will learn from the basics to the advanced concept and this is my blog you can find all the uh, information in a written format with the proper screenshots and everything I will be discussing about Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power uh, Business Central everything so you can follow my blog in order to get the more updates and this is the GitHub page where I will be uploading all the codes for your reference you can find it here. So the disc, uh, the link for all these things I have given in the description. So for each is a repetitive statement which is to iterate through the list. Okay. In the previous video I have discussed about for down to and for to do. Okay. It is not mandatory that it should be in the list. Okay. It might be the any any numbers but any number or any iteration but you should know how many times you are going to loop through. This is for just a uh, brief recap of the previous video. So now it is for each which you can iterate through the list. That is you can use the list in order to uh, iterate. If you want to iterate a list, you can use for each. Okay. So with Business Central uh, 2023 release way one, you can use the for each loop on test variables as well, which allows you to detect as well as remove or replace individual characters in the string. Okay, so let us see the for each syntax. So how it will start for each. Okay, for each. So you should go with the element. I'll tell you what is an element and what is everything in list okay as i told you have to only iterate through the list do and you can give any statement okay so what is this we will understand about this element and we will understand about this list and no one thing this is a keyword okay do is a keyword in is a keyword and for each is a keyword so you should not change all these things and element and list i'll be explaining that so don't worry so let us go to the um, uh, that is the whatever I have declared. So here you can uh, see that string list, and I have declared this as a list. Okay, this is a, way, a data type called list data type, and I I should tell that what type of data it is. Okay, that is this is a text data. I am going to store the text data under this string list variable. Okay, and this text data can have 20 characters each. Okay, and this data can have 20 characters list. So you can create a string list that is you will be creating a string list like this. So what you can do is, um, so it will be like string list. Okay, that is first item. So you will be using an add item add. Okay, so you can add something like a text. Okay, so you can add okay so dot add we will be adding that okay dot add so i'll just tell you this is a list which contains the which holds the uh, list item and next one is the string item okay string item so i will show you how i have used this so i have created a procedure for this okay so and you can also see here that string item is also the text okay string list is the list and i am going to store this list under the string item so here according to our understanding okay our uh, declaration this string item is the element okay and the string list is the list okay so now let us go to the uh, procedure i have written a simple procedure that is to try the for each okay so local procedure try for each and this is begin inside that begin i am adding the list item to the string list so i am adding first text this is the second text this is a third text and this is the fourth text 
okay you can imagine like the string list will be this will be like first one first name which i have added comma second name comma third name comma fourth name okay i have added this string list now what happens this is what uh, the thing which we have tried that is string item this is the element which is a string item in string list so what is that the list variable must be the list so that is what we have created this is the list this is the list okay uh, and the element variable must be the data type that is compatible with the element specified by the list compatible in the sense i have declared both the things as a text if i create uh, the list item as a number i should also that is an integer i should also create this element as an integer okay i hope now you are clear so this is what so uh, here you can easily understand what i am trying to tell you that this is the try for each okay uh, so try for each you can see here that this is the string item i have added the item uh, that is the first item that is a uh, the name of a person and the second item the third one and the fourth one so here i have applied the for each repetitive statement which is also called as the loop okay so as i told for each is what the um, keyword and this in is also a keyword and this do is also a keyword and this is an element okay this is an element and this is the list so whenever it iterates through the um, list so what it will do it will just give me the print it will print the message that this is what the item which is iterated so in the message i have uh, mentioned the element name okay string item so this is what the statement so it is not mandatory that you have to add only one statement if you wanted to add multiple statements you can add as well okay and this is like it is like a, a simple for each which we have discussed today so i hope you understand the logic here very clearly so how i have called from where i have called this procedure i have called this procedure in an action okay so here you can see in an action i am going to execute a for each and inside the trigger on action i have called this try for each let us just try to execute so here you can see that this is the action which i have and here i have a try for each and once if i click here it is showing the message so what is the first element in my list that is krishna right so once if i click okay i will get the second element okay what is the second element here it's showing that and once if i click okay it will show the third element so this is what my third element name and once i click ok it will show me the fourth element okay you can see the fourth element and once if i click ok it will come out of the loop so this is how you can iterate through the loop even if you have 100 elements that will display okay so this is what the logic behind try for each so only important thing which you should know is what you can use this try for that is you can use this for each only to iterate through the list or an xml node list or xml attribute collection and json expression okay you can try in these things what one is either a list okay a list or xml node list you can also try it in xml node list or xml attribute collection okay and also you can try it in the json array expression but it and now you can also try uh, like uh, it will also work in the like that is what we have tried right it will work on the text variables as well okay that is from 2023 release wave one okay and we can also remove or replace an individual character in the string using this for each okay even you can uh, use some tables or in order to iterate through the records then you can do that as well and this is not mandatory that you have to write it only in the action uh, that is uh, we have used in the procedure okay so wherever you want it if you want to iterate through inside any code unit or anything you can try that okay so for example if you want to iterate through the list of customer names and written 
each customer name in the message then that is also possible like how it is very simple you can try this logic like you can just uh, uh, procedure you can try procedure um, like print or message display customer name okay and inside that customer you can just pass the variable directly the list you can display like customer cust name colon list so you have to tell list of okay which what list it is it is a text okay if you are not sure about the uh, uh, if you are not sure about the length you can just go ahead with this and you can uh, create a, a variable like um, customer cust name okay c u s t n a m e customer name colon text okay that is a list and this is a text okay that is it both are different and then so you can just begin for each so what you wanted to do this customer name okay so this is a customer we can call it as cust names and this is a customer let us have some differentiation okay uh, so cust name so this is what the element okay and this both things should be same okay this is element and this is a list both the element and the list data type should be same that is compatible go so cust name in cust names okay this is a list do what you wanted to do you wanted to print the message so message so what you wanted to print the message i wanted to print the element name this is what the element right okay you wanted to print this so you will be printing cust name okay that's it and then you can end it so end got it so it's very simple for each i hope you understand this concept clearly uh, i'll see you in the next video with to understand to make you understand what is while do and uh, also i'll tell you what is repeat until control structure if you have any doubts please leave your, leave your doubts in the comment i'll be definitely helping you out thank you take care bye bye